the Buck Nerd is back with Adam Smith, Beltway Commercial. Give me a second, Adam. Hold on. Oh, yeah. okay. Great. Let me ask you a question. What do industrial plants, manufacturing facilities, golf places, parties, caterers, ballparks, sports places, theme parks, churches, campgrounds, RV parks, resorts, zoos? Hospitality. Oh, like hotels and such? Yeah. Uh, nursing homes? Absolutely. Hospitals? HOAs? Homeowner associations? Condominium associations? What do they all have in common? Mosquitoes! All right. Well, mosquito work has become very, very competitive recently. There are many, many different uh, companies out there vying for our clients' dollars. And because of that, it's critical that we price our jobs correct the first time. And to do that, it requires the best assessment right from the beginning and make sure that we're value engineering our proposals to meet the exact needs of the client and to be most cost effective. So how do we do that on a commercial scale? Well, it's an inspection for all sorts of different areas such as catch basins and flat roofs. Any flat roof building is suspect for mosquito breeding grounds. So would we perform an adulticide or a larvicide in those types of uh, areas? Larviciding is the primary tool to get rid of the mosquitoes. That is number one, because you want to take care of the young that can feed where they're breeding and the like. Some of this will require some changes in structure, some of it requires just larviciding entirely. And what I mean by changes in structure is to empty that standing water, whether it be pots on a deck it. or pots, you know, in front of a building. So we can add value to our uh, clients' operations by educating them and helping them to educate their, uh, their clients, whether it's property management, their tenants, right. or uh, what have you. So. We're not building a proposal based on just walking around with the mister solely? No, you're looking for areas for breeding. You're looking at, you know, the, the study where there's any flat areas where there's waters out in the field, whether it's on the rooftop or in culverts or catch basins, you know, how much shrubbery is around a building. Shrubbery. Shrubbery. You know, and then you begin to look at the products that would be needed to take care of those concerns. You have briquettes, you have uh, granular larvicides like four star, you know, there's all sorts of different things. Altacid, four star. Right. Got it. So when would we utilize an adulticide? Oh, usually when you have a lot of planings around a building. Understand that mosquitoes will fly a good distance to take a blood meal. But they like to rest during the day, and where they're going to rest is underneath the leaves on shrubbery and low trees. And I think it's critically important that when we're evaluating a prospect's property, we're looking at the amenity areas to make sure that, again, we're providing the most cost-effective proposal uh, so that we capture the business the first time every time. So let's look at the leasing centers. Let's look at the, the areas where they put that marketing focus. If it's a commercial building, you know, the entrances. Uh, if it's an apartment complex, perhaps the pool house. So make sure that we're able to convey that return on their investment dollar uh, with when they spend money on mosquitoes. What's interesting, we tend to miss the, the boat on some things, such as like weddings. You know, people oh. have outdoor weddings or church groups you know, we'll have these large cookouts, and that might be something that we can go to these churches and various places and, and offer up our services prior to those uh, things happening. Product positioning, that is awesome, I love it. Now, let me ask you, what do we do, Bob, when we have a commercial client who abides by lead standards or has an overarching uh, green uh, there's products we can use. One particular product is called Ecovia. Ecovia. It's NOP uh, compliant. It's an exempt product. Uh, it contains uh, uh, bio oils uh, from various plants. No put kidding. Together. Yes, and it works very well. Oh, that's the one that you were saying has to be applied more frequently. So the right. contract dollar cost is going to go up. Right. Instead of something like that we're using Tall Star or Demand and an IGR, this 
you know, what we, with those products, we're coming back on a monthly basis or every four weeks. With this product, Ecovia, we may need to come back almost weekly in some instances, depending upon the conditions, or at least every other week. But clients should be willing to pay that premium. Absolutely. So we should probably inform them that there are those yes. greener options. Right. And, and there's less of an odor with them also. You don't have that heavy chemical smell. It's more of a pleasant biological botan uh, botanical but, oil. Yeah. Got it. Funky smell. Rosemary, thyme, all that good stuff. It's thyme and garfunkel. Yeah. Oh, that's wrong song. Okay. <laughs> So just in context, you know, our commercial properties, if you look at what they invest in just their seasonal flowers, you know, a commercial property is going to pay almost $1,400 for a 100 square foot uh, display of pansies. $1,400. That could very well cover a property for a year with monthly mosquito treatments. So it doesn't cost that much, and we're doing a disservice if we're not bundling a mosquito job uh, with our general pest control proposals. That's the, all I got. What else you got? The word for the day, bundle. Absolutely.